Welcome back to my channel, everyone. How are you doing? This is Mocha Sister. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I need two more subscribers to hit 100 subscribers. I see you guys adding yourselves. I really appreciate that. Um, on this channel, we talk about cruising, traveling, and everything in between. I'm a writer and a poet who loves to live life out loud. Anyway, just checking back in with you guys uh, since I came back from a trip um, back in September, which is barely, um, is, is literally four weeks since I last took the trip. And a lot has happened, obviously, uh, with Hurricane Ian. Um, it was no hurricane when I went, and I guess I was very lucky. Um, prayers and love to those who are affected in Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, and any other uh, state that was impacted by that hurricane, in which is now a tropical storm, I believe. Um, a lot of changes have happened in four short weeks. So I was being nosy and I logged into um, my MSC account and now it says vacation is recommended, but no longer vaccination is recommended, but no longer required on most cruises. Vaccinated guests must show proof of va vaccination and embarkation uh, and are re recommended, but not required to take a uh, negative uh, COVID-19 test. Unvaccinated guests are required to submit a negative test. All crew members are regularly vaccinated and regularly tested. Um, and the update is if you are positive or you test positive for COVID-19 within 14 days prior to your cruise, you will receive a full or prorated refund and assistance. And um, that's actually very good. I, I do think that people should take their time with still like going back to travel, figure out if that's what you want to do. Um, and um, even though cruises are telling you, you don't have to get vaccinated and you don't have to take a test. Uh, I just think that at this time they're doing that because they want people to have choices and Maybe could people could stop arguing about who's vaccinated, who's not vaccinated. I have to say, when I was on my cruise, I didn't worry about who was vaccinated, who wasn't, who was and who wasn't. I had a great time. I did not. I repeat, I did not wear my mask as much. And I'm very lucky and fortunate I did not come back <laughs> with anything. But I wore my mask in areas that I needed to where it was like more people and more crowded. After that, like if I was somewhere and sitting down, at the bar and it was like maybe one person sitting by me. I didn't really worry about it. I, I told myself to go have a good time and I did. So I would definitely go back cruising at this point, probably once a year because now I have to start paying these student loans back. You know how it goes, y'all. Um, but um, at the end of the day, I had a fantastic time and I'm looking forward to getting back on the high seas in a couple of months. <laughs> But I wanted to do a quick check-in with you guys, and um, I hope everyone is doing well. I'll talk to you guys soon. We are in October, so you know what that means. We only got two more months left in the year. Mm. But anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Be well. And leave your um, comments about whether you think that vaccination being removed is good. <laughs>